Welcome to the Lee Priest Open. Today's matchup features the 2005 Arnold Classic versus the 2006 Iron Man. Now, this 06 Iron Man is renowned. He won this event. I believe this was one of the biggest wins of his bodybuilding career, for sure. But I have to say, I've seen all the pictures of the 05 Arnold Classic, and he looks good. But in this front relaxed position, and it appears for one of the first times in this competition, the more massive version seems to be right on par, if not more conditioned. Now the waist might be smaller, I don't even know, but it might be a little bit smaller in the Arnold Classic. But the abs are no more separated, and look at the separation of those thighs. Conditioning plus. And look at the vascularity in the, in the Ironman version. I'm giving him a point here in the front relaxed position. And after this pose, the Iron Man racks up point number two. Wow, what a fantastic finish on this physique. The legs are bigger. The waist is just as small. Well, maybe not. I don't know. It does. It looks just as small. Those lats are flaring and those guns are uh, blazing. Look at the size of the arms. Much better version. The Arnold Classic version stands no chance in this competition. But there are a lot of poses, so let's carry on. And carry on we shall to this, the front lat spread. This one's pretty close. I don't know. The delts, is it just me or are the delts a little bit larger in the more leaner version, the Arnold Classic? Hard to say. Either that or his biceps and triceps are that much larger. But I don't know. I think the delts are bigger. If any muscle on this version is uh, superior, the legs do look a little bit more separated in the uh, Iron Man. I don't know. I'm not going to deliver a point to either version in this one. It is awful close. Now, this one surprises me. I'm giving this one to the Arnold Classic. Much, much, much to my surprise. He is larger, of course, in the Iron Man. He is occupying more space. He's a bigger man. Look at the size of the legs. But here in this pose and his pec is much better displayed. I think as he got a little bit older, his his pecs perhaps dwindled away. Much like every bodybuilder, the big proud pec of a, a young 20-year-old bodybuilder, they're just pronounced and big. Look at the chests of the 70s bodybuilders. They were all in their 20s. That's their secret. Tominator. I learned that on his channel. He mentioned that one day. But anyway, this is going to the Arnold Classic version for sure. This is a surprise to me. I just love this classic Lee Priest pose. Incredible. One of the best parts of doing these best ofs. You can use a variety of different poses because to this man, this is one of his poses. He always hits it, I mean, time after time. So I'm sure he practices this one right along with all the mandatories. I am so shocked. After the first couple of poses, there was no way that the Arnold Classic version was ever going to come back with a victory. But the last couple of poses are going to the Arnold Classic and this one here. The waistline is the clincher. Separation in the legs as well. I don't know. This is a tight race. And this is an even tougher decision to make here in this, I guess you could call a Dorian Yates pose. I love when Lee used to snap this shot. His legs look more separated again here. Uh, I was right about the delts. The delts actually are bigger in the more leaner version of the Arnold Classic. Look at the size of them shoulder muscles. I don't know. The arm looks bigger in the Iron Man Pro. I think I'm going to lean slightly toward the Arnold Classic. Because of the waistline, looks a little bit better in the legs. He looks a little bit more polished. Although this one could really go either way. And this will be the last of the specialty poses. Like I said, one of my favorite parts of doing these best of version series. This is a topsy-turvy one. Look at the waistline of the Arnold Classic this time. It seems not distended, but I guess the timing is wrong. And this is all based on pitchers. And the Ironman Pro is just snapping this to AT. One of the best victory poses I've ever seen him hit. Look at the forearms. I always take note of the forearms in this pose. Those are massive, big, giant balls.
balls of muscle. So, out of the three specialty poses, at least he didn't lose all three, or all, yeah, all three of them in the Iron Man. At least he snapped up one victory. And what a victory it is. And here we go with the back comparison. Fantastic lat spread. This is probably the best lat spread I've ever seen in the part of the Arnold Classic. He has the meat, he has the muscle in the Iron Man Pro, but it appears his waistline is a little distended from behind. Look at the tiny waist there in the Arnold Classic. I believe it was the 2002 uh, Mr. Olympia version with had, had a fantastic rear lat spread. Ooh, I can't wait. I am chomping at the bit to compare these two. But this Arnold Classic version is not out of the woods yet. He is dominating in this pose. Look at the hamstrings. Never seen look, Lee look so good in this rear lat spread. I honestly think these are two of the best versions of Lee Priest, bar none. And it is a shame that we had to get rid of one of them in the first round, but hey, it makes for an awesome first round matchup as well. Look at the thighs. Now, I don't remember his thighs being quite so feathered in either version, and it seems the Arnold Classic is just that much more feathered. It looks like scales on a fish. A little bit smaller again, but just that much tighter. Both of the abs look great little bit tighter, like I said, in the Arnold Classic. So, a slight victory here. And we are headed into this last pose. And it is too late for the Iron Man Pro to come back with a victory. Just by this point system. But this match was a fight to the finish. And in this most muscular pose, I'm almost at a loss on which one to vote for. Both look so fantastic that it's really hard to say which one is better. Of course, the Iron Man, slightly bigger, a little bit more vascular as well. But it seems the Arnold Classic, a little bit drier, perhaps. Look at the feathering in those thighs. Never seen the feathering. Quite looks so good. But also looks fantastic in that Iron Man Pro. Plus, he is big. So, there is a definite argument that says this Iron Man Pro is Lee Priest's best version. But in my opinion and in my judging system, the Arnold Classic 2005 is that much better. And with the advancement of the 05 Arnold Classic, that completes the first round of action in this tournament. I have to say, and I am not just boasting about this tournament because it's current, but this one was my favorite to do. I love the Dorian Yates one. I love the Ronnie Coleman one. They were all good. Dexter Jackson was awesome too. But this one was my favorite. There's something about Lee Priest's physique. It's just awesome. And I think that's why he is one of the most popular bodybuilders of all time. But in my opinion, his... His attitude has a lot to do with why I'm a huge fan of him. And his physique as well. But we'll get into that a little bit later at another time. The next matchup in this tournament will be a second round matchup. We'll feature the 1996 Iron Man Pro versus the 1997 Iron Man Pro. Loaded with Iron Man Pros. Awesome, awesome, awesome. He did good in those events. One to look forward to. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good day.